One Girl in All the World by Kendare Blake. One Girl in All the World is a sequel to In Every Generation, which is in itself a sequel to the Buffy television series. One Girl in All the World follows the adventure of Frankie Rosenberg, a teenager who's just trying to understand her place in the world as the world's first, and at the moment only, Slayer Witch. Now, I never did a review for In Every Generation, partly because it was a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, while overall I found myself liking the book, there was a lot of things I kind of disliked and felt like were a little clunky and messy about it, and honestly I felt like if I was going to make a video over it, it was going to be largely negative overall. So I decided not to. However, I am very happy to report that One Girl in All the World fixes a lot of the problems that In Every Generation had. One thing I want to start with is the fact that even In Every Generation, Kendra Blake's writing style has been solid throughout. Um, any story that's going to take place in the Buffyverse is going to require there to be a lot of fight scenes, a lot of fighting, a lot of kind of violence and that sort of stuff. And it can be very easy for an author to become lost in the fight, or for a reader to then become lost in the fight, where yes, there's fighting happening, but you don't really know what's going on. Not the case here. Every single time there's a battle or even just a small little fight scene, you understand the stakes and you understand where characters are within those stakes. Um, you know where people are physically within the context of the story, and you understand how they're able to fend off and fight, fight whoever they're fighting, whether it's a good guy or a bad guy. And so that much I really appreciated. Another thing I thought was really good, um, but has been improved upon here in One Girl in All the World, is the character writing. Um, in and every generation, the old characters, meaning the returning characters from the Buffy TV series, um, specifically Willow, Spike, and Oz, were written pretty well in In Every Generation. Um, but the original characters, especially Frankie herself, felt a little weak. One Girl in All the World vastly improves upon that. Um, the original new characters are written very well. They def very much feel like they fit within the Buffy universe, while also having their own unique perspectives and unique goals. And so that's one thing that was greatly improved here. The one area that I felt like was really improved over the first book is the humor itself. In In Every Generation, a lot of the humor sometimes tended to fall flat and didn't necessarily match the tone of the scene it was in, and that's something that One Girl in All the World vastly improves upon. Um, the humor is just genuinely funny, the references are great, even if you maybe don't, haven't watched Buffy in a while, you'll probably understand most of them, and the humor overall matches the tone of the scenes they're in. You're not getting like slapstick humor during a really dark, sad scene, and so that's something that I felt like the book did really well overall. If I had to levy any criticisms at this book, um, I really have two small ones. The first is that, obviously, if you have not watched the Buffy series at all before, or if you maybe haven't watched the Buffy TV series in like 10-15 years, there's going to be a lot of things that you might not necessarily remember or understand in this book. Um, aside from just passing references, there are some pretty significant plot points that deal with events that happened in the past, and in order to feel the gravity of them, you kind of have to have watched the series and understand what they're talking about. Um, again, this is a Buffy novel, so obviously that's going into it, you kind of have to understand that's something that would be coming in. Um, but it is a little disappointing that it didn't try to make a little bit of an easier time for a newcomer to come into the books. The other criticism I have is just that it really looked like, to me, and this is again a personal criticism, not necessarily a real criticism against the book, but just it looked like the big bad of this story was actually going to be a sympathetic villain. Something which the Buffy series hasn't necessarily done before, and so that was seemed like it was going to be really interesting, really something different and new, and provide kind of a unique perspective and take the Buffy universe in a bit of a new direction. And instead, by the end of the story, the big bad was just this great big evil, or big bad, and that was a little disappointing. Um, so again, personal critique, very small, but just my own kind of personal gripes with the book. Overall, I think that if you are a fan of the Buffy stories in the Buffy universe, and you're just looking for something more to get into that's a little bit more modern, then 
in every generation and one girl in all the world will be an excellent read.